I guess that'll do for now then. I guess that'll do. We found someone sleeping in our fields, in the hay. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Uh... <laughs> and who are you exactly? <laughs> Smile back. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's Chanter Devons. What's a chanter? Is he touched in the head? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Uh, It's like a vow of silence, then? He can't talk normally? Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. <laughs> the maker is a righteous ass. Anything to say to that? Uh, a chanter says what? <laughs> chanter says what? What? <laughs> oh, you've gotten to speak. <laughs> what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, he cheated. Anything of interest on the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Chanter's board, Lothering. Lothering. Bandits, bandits everywhere. As transcribed on behalf of Sir Bryant, Templar and Defender of the Faith. Know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders playing their trade in the northern wood and roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travellers have indicated there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir Bryant's caution, lest you wind up another victim to these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the Maker look after his children in our hour of need. What's a sovereign? Is that a gold coin? I guess we accept that shit. Your king is dead. Uh, the Chanter's board. Right, weed out the bandits. Okay. Didn't get anything new on those. Uh, So there's the Chantry, that's where Sir Bryant is. There's another quest over there. Okay, let's do this first. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer a dark spawn hand. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Uh. Why don't you keep your voice down, man? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Ah, uh, you poor man. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn. Must have been horrible. How did you escape? No, I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by dog spawn. I'm not evil. Please, won't you talk to me? I ran, hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. I'm sorry for your loss. Why am I here? I should not have come. <laughs> he was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. 
But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. All right. We out here solving problems. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Wait, did this say pile of seeds? <laughs> what was armor doing in pile of seeds? If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. You're closed? We turn none aside, but we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Uh, who's in charge? The revered mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. Uh, did you know there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Hells yeah, dude. Have you heard any news? Not since Tern Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Ciao. Make her watch over you. Sir Moron. Right, let's see if we can chat to the leader dude. I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. What is, uh... Sir Donal, a fallen Templar? You find the body of a Templar slain by bandits, his corpse being picked clean, save a note and a locket. Right, that's that guy, okay. There's word of dark Are you here to see the Reverend Mother too? Hmm. He said Reverend, but the subtitles say Revered. Uh, where is she? In her office, arranging for everyone to leave, I suppose. I don't think she's with anyone right now. I came to ask for a blessing. With my family abandoning the farm to flee north, we'll need all the grace the Maker can offer. Well, good luck to you. I need to get underway. If I'm lucky, I'll make it back to the farm hold by nightfall. All right. We are the luck. only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Ah, that's, that's Big Man. Big Man with big plan. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Can't talk to this guy? Okay. Sup, my dude? Yes? Who might you be? Uh, You can call me Dalen. Do we need to tell him Grey Warden? I feel like no. Just Dalen. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? And if I were? I'd tell you what I told the others. Nothing here will assist your quest. The urn of sacred ashes is a myth. Uh, What is the urn of sacred ashes? A mythical relic of Andraste. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. I will. Uh, I need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. You in charge? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Uh, you do know that I'm a mage. As am I. Oh, I have no time to even think about such things right now. My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. Good. How do Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. Uh, where would I find the Revered Mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tern Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Every time I click a dialogue option, the screen, like, flashes a bit, which is weird. Is that... I assume that's just a bug. Uh, tell me about something else. If the matter is important, certainly. Heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Tern Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. 
Disaster piled on disaster. Uh, King Kaelin had no heir? None that we know of. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. So why hasn't he intervened? Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, Andraste's said to cure ashes. any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Uh... Was that all the information? That was everything, right? Things seem very dire. Uh, yeah, things seem very dire. Actually, about those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Uh, one less. I drove them off myself. Indeed. They're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Uh, I could keep an eye out for trouble for the right pay. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. When you say full of quests, there was there was one quest. <laughs> Things seem very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh, fuck it. Let's tell him. I hope him. I'm hoping you can help me. I'm a grey warden. I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Logain declared all grey wardens traitors responsible for the king's death. You know this, I hope. The grey wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the grey wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Is there any other help you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Cheers. Uh, let me just check. Was there any other information? If the information? matter is important, certainly. Uh, any other news? I suppose since you are a mage, I do know something that might interest you. Oh, yeah? Don't look surprised. I would be a poor Templar if I couldn't tell that much. What? I literally I told you I have heard word that the Templars who watch over the Circle of Magi's Tower have called for the right of annulment. Oh, for fuck's sake, Hopefully man. Hopefully I've heard wrong. Do you know why? To have such a call when mages are needed to fight the Darkspawn, something terrible must have happened. I have nothing yeah, else like to tell Yeah, like one of the mages spilled the one of the Templars' tea or something. Oh, I'll fucking kill them all! Okay, I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Codex updated, 20 silver. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Uh, he fell ill with a mysterious condition that even magic could not treat. Cool. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars... You, miss, what is your name? You... Seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so. But avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Let's get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. So, how do we kill this guy? We are here to guard this chantry and all mankind. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Hello? The First Blight, Chapter 1. The First Blight? This could be pretty big. Thedas is a land of fierce diversity. From the assassin princes of Antiva to the faded griffins of the Anderfels. But in my travels I have found one tale that unites the people of this land. It is a story of pride and damnation, and although the telling differs, the essence of the tale remains the same. 
At the height of its power, the Tevinter Imperium stretched over much of Thedas, uniting the known world under the rule of the tyrannical Magisters. It is said that the old gods whom the Magisters worshipped gave them the knowledge of blood magic, and the Magisters used this forbidden power to cement their rule. The blood of elven slaves and humans alike ran down imperial altars to fuel Magister greed, the tales of their ex excesses so horrifying that one can only be grateful that blood magic is prohibited today. But all, but all that stands tall must eventually fall. Perhaps they foresaw their ruin, or perhaps their pride knew no bounds, but whatever the reason, the Magisters dared to open a magical portal into the Golden City at the heart of the Fade. They sought to usurp the Maker's throne, long left unattended in the Golden City, after the Maker turned his back on his creations. They would storm heaven itself with their power and become as gods. This is what the Chantry, in its oft-exercised tendency to understate, refers to as the Second Sin. According to, the ver to most versions of the tale, the Magisters did indeed reach the Golden City and walked into the home of the Maker, where no living being before them had dared or been able to tread. But humanity is not meant to walk in heaven. The Magisters were wicked with pride and other sins, and their presence tainted the Golden City. What was once a perfect holy citadel became a twisted home of darkness and nightmares. The Magisters were expelled back through their gateway and cursed for their treachery. As the Golden City had been tainted, so were the Magisters twisted and transformed into a thing of darkness, into things of darkness, the very first of the Darkspawn. The Golden City, once a shining beacon at the heart of the Fade, became the Black City, a reminder of all that man's pride has cost. Okay, that wasn't actually... Uh, like, we've heard most of that before. I was expecting it to go more into, like, the actual first blight, but it was basically just like... This is how the first Darkspawn were made, and then nothing actually about the Blight <laughs> that, that must have followed. Oh well. Please, we came here to get away from Who? Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well. He'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Shouldn't you be fleeing the Darkspawn? My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. I was hoping to meet the Arl, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against Terran Ro Ter Terin Terin. How do you how do you pronounce that properly? I was saying Terin, but I don't, it, I don't, it's more like Terin, 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 Terin Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man. It's true. Terin Loghain, however, Ten. is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Terin has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Ten. Gotta, gotta stick that in my head. It's ten. Ten, Loghain. Uh, is there any point in going to Redcliffe? Do you think Loghain's involved with the illness? The Arl fell ill before the king died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. Hmm. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. So your quest for the ashes brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Tell me more about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Uh, I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Fuck Nothing yeah. I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Right, yeah. Uh, about that. Who is Sir Henrik? My fellow knight and travelling companion. He is delayed, though. Yeah. Delayed all the way to the grave, unfortunately. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. 
Uh, is there a reward, perhaps? I shouldn't say that. Uh, I'm sorry about your friend. I drove off the bandits that killed him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. The Sacred Ashes of Andraste. Uh, only one person witnessed Mafarath's betrayal, Havard the Aegis. A childhood friend of Mafarath, he accompanied his chief to the meeting with the Tevinters, not realising what was planned. When he understood that Mafarath was, go was giving Andraste over to be executed, Havard, uh, Havard, unwilling to draw swords against his friend and liege, placed himself... Uh, I feel like we've read this. Have we not read this? I feel like we've read that. Mafarath left him for dead. Uh, gravely wounded, he got to the gates. Deed was done. I'm sure we've read this. But it said new, not updated, right? Uh, cursing, Havard, cursing his weakness, gathered the earthly remains of Andraste. I think this is new. That had been left to the wind and rain and wept. When his fingers touched the pile of ash, his ears filled with song, and he saw before him a vision of Andraste, dressed in cloth made of starlight. She knelt at his side, saying, The Maker shall never forget you, so long as I remember. The song faded, and the vision with it, and Havard was alone. But his wounds were healed. With new strength, Havard took up the ashes of Our Lady and bore them back to the lands of the Alamari. I feel like that was mostly pretty similar. And when the Maker spoke... Chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. It's terrible. So many come to Lothering seeking refuge, only to find that we can offer little more than prayer. Does the Maker see our plight? Is he moved by this destruction? I, I apologize. The Maker's plan is too grand for me to fathom, especially at times like this. Who's in charge here? The revered mother presides over the Chantry, and Sir Bryant leads the few Templars guarding us. What are those priests chanting, exactly? The Chant of Light. Surely you know it. Uh... Never heard it sung quite like this. Perhaps you haven't heard these verses before. The entire chant takes weeks to sing, and is only done straight through at the Grand Cathedral in Val Royo. Here, we can only sing a few verses per week, and finish anew each first day. Tell me more. When the prophet Andraste was burned by the Magisters, the Maker turned away from his creations. We gain his forgiveness by spreading Andraste's teachings. The Maker will return when the chant is sung from the four corners of the world. Oh yeah? You haven't tried doing that then? <laughs> Seems like an excuse to spread spread influence. Uh, how do you even know the Maker exists? He created this world. Every sunrise is proof of his existence. Every child born shows he loves us still. Sure. <laughs> I should go. May the Maker watch over you. Let those who cry out from the shadows... I mean, what do we think? Do we reckon he exists? I mean, it's possible, because it's like a fantasy world. It's possible there's some, like, god like figure that is or just powerful figure that's been deified or whatever but it's also possible that it's just not real <laughs> uh so. i'm sorry but i must prepare the chantry's vestments before we flee there is very little time what will happen to us now that the king is dead i'm scared when are we going home never what do you need uh not to talk to you I was trying to, Only the words trying to read the book, the mate. Can you on. not? Thank you. And Adventures the of the us... Black Fox. Uh, where's that going to be? Books and songs. Adventures of the Black Fox. Born Lord Remy Vascal in 863 Blessed. Blessed or Blessed? Blessed. The Black Fox was a dashing thief and rogue who went on to inspire so many tales of his exploits that it is nearly impossible to determine today which are true and which are merely fabricated legend. Despite coming from nobility, he has become something of a hero of the common people. His initial exploits involve ridiculing the tyrannical and powerful Lord of Val Shevin. 
wearing a mask, he would appear in public and disrupt the Lord's plans to the point that the Lord angrily put a huge bounty on the life of this cunning fox, the origin of the nickname, which stuck. That the primary bounty hunter who took the job, Carolis, ended up becoming Remy's lifelong partner in crime, only after nearly killing him several times, is one of the most popular tales told in taverns today. The story is often exaggerated to make Remy appear initially buffoonish, until Carolis becomes so furious with the Black Fox's inexplicable ability to survive that the cunning Remy gains the upper hand, which impresses Carolis so much that the bounty hunter joins him. After years of terrorising the Lord's men and foiling his tax collectors, a favourite pastime of Remy's according to the Orlesian commoners, Remy was, supposed to, was supposedly betrayed by his lover Savannah de Montfort, in some versions of the tale a mage of the circle no less, and captured. After more than a year of torture, Remy was rescued from prison by his compatriots, including a repentant Savannah, and together they escaped or lay. In this period of Remy's adventures, he appeared almost everywhere in Thedas. As his legend grew, more innkeepers and merchants were happy to claim that the Black Fox had visited their village or establishment and performed some legendary feat. If the tales are to be believed, Remy led the Lord's men on a merry chase. He became embroiled in political intrigue in Navarra, was hunted by the crows of Antiva, and then kidnapped by a powerful mage in Tavinta. In each situation, Remy escaped death at the last moment, foiled the evildoer, and improved life for the poor and downtrodden. Then, inevitably, he rejoined his band of adventurers and moved on to the next land. His companions Carolis and Savannah, the wise dwarf Bolek, and the tempestuous knight Sir Clementis have each spawned their own individual legends over the years. The stories all agree that at some point, the Black Fox disappeared. He and his fellow adventurers voyaged into the heart of the Arlathian, Arlathan forest, seeking the sunken city of the elves, and never returned. Many more are the tales, uh, many more are the tales that expand on what ultimately happened to them in that forest, and postulate on how they could someday be rescued. Interesting. I wonder if that's actually ever going to be a thing that we go to this city that is mentioned and find these people, or whether that's literally just background lore that will never come up. I wonder. Codex updated on what? You motherfuckers. What's the update? <laughs> uh, God damn it. Who knows? Who knows? It must have been in Magic and Religion and I must have just scrolled over it, but it didn't tell me what it was. Ah, <laughs> that is the most infuriating shit, man. The most infuriating shit. Why would you not... Have it light up, have sinned, like when you scroll down. Why do you have it disappear before you can possibly I see it? If that's an accurate likeness of I'm sorry, I cannot talk now. I must feed the holy brazier to ensure the flame never dies. Uh, who's in charge here? The revered mother is in the other room, but Sir Bryant can probably answer your questions. What's the significance of the brazier? It represents the flames that burned Andraste herself. Do you know the tale? Uh, I know all Chantries keep a fire to honour her death. The Prophet was burned in the ancient city of Minrathus, before the ancient mages she had fought. Instead of dying in pain as the mages wanted, she was purified by the fire and taken by the Maker into the heavens to stand forever at his side. We are all sinners. The fire symbolises our hope that forgiveness is possible. Thus, we all serve by feeding its flames. Aren't there easier ways to keep a fire going? Of course. The dwarves have offered us coal and special rocks. Even the Circle of Magi volunteered to provide magical flames. If that isn't irony, I don't know what is. The flame means little without the act of remembering and atoning for our sins. That does seem like a terribly monotonous task. It should take as much concentration to cleanse the soul as to cleanse the body. Okay. I wish you well. You have fun with that, mate. You have tons of fun. Let him hear the most our righteous fun. dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the maker return. Right, this is the thing we got the key for, right? He used the key. Nice. Health poultice, less health poultice, and ancient elven boots. Viridium. Hello. Requires 22 strength. Well, shit. The plates that sheath these boots mimic the shape of leaves. When equipped in a set with ancient elven armor, helm, and gloves, the character gains a bonus to defense. Interesting. Uh, well, obviously, I will never be able to wear that. What about, uh, what about Alistair? That is better. That is definitely better for old, old Alistair. Alright. 
Ancient Elven Return. Boots. Do, do, do. There you go, lad. Wait, I've just had a thought. Wasn't he... Hmm. He had a set on. When equipped in a set with splint mail, gloves and boots, the character gains a bonus to armor. Is there a way of me seeing what that bonus was? Uh, is there like an armor stat here? Yes. He's got armor 9 without it. So if I put the splint mail boots back on. Now he has armor... Uh, ten. Okay, it's a single point of additional armor. Black city in heaven. So, what's the trade-off again? So he gets one extra armor. This would take away the one, but give him point four. But it would increase his fatigue, but it does give him one extra health. So, he either gets plus one armor, or plus one constitution, and plus 0.4 armor. I guess it depends how much difference one armor makes compared to one constitution. Because if they're equivalent, then having one constitution plus armor is better than having plus armor but not plus any constitution. But if they're not equivalent, if armor take is harder to smack through than health is, like, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we keep him in his set for now. And then Maybe we shall keep him the in his set for now. Make it pure. You are welcome here, so long as you cause no trouble. Wow, how gracious. Uh, the Imperial Chantry. There are those who would tell you that the Chantry is the same everywhere as it is here. That the Divine in Val Royo reigns supreme in the eyes of the Maker, and that this fact is unquestioned throughout Thedas. Do not believe it. The Maker's second commandment, magic must serve man, not rule over him, never held the same meaning within the ancient Tevinter Imperium as it did elsewhere. The Chantry there interpreted the rule as meaning that mages should never control the minds of other men, and that otherwise their magic should benefit the rulers of men as much as possible. When the clerics of Tevinta altered the Chant of Light to reflect this interpretation of the commandment, the Divine in Val Royo ordered the clerics to revert to the original chant. They refused, claiming corruption within Val Royo, and, and an argument that grew... Oh, claiming corruption within Val Royo, an argument that grew until in 487 Towers... Right, there's Towers, there's Dragon, there's Blessed. The Chantry in Tevinta elected its own legitimate and uncorrupted Divine Val Hale who was not only male, but also happened to be one of the most prominent members of the Tevinta Circle of the Magi. This Black Divine was reviled outside Tevinta, his existence an offence to the Chantry in Val Royo. After four exalted marches to dislodge these rebels, all that the Chantry in Val Royo accomplished was to cement the separation. While most aspects of the Imperial Chantry's teachings are the same, prohibition against magic have be prohibitions against magic have been weakened, and male priests have become more prevalent. The Circle of Magi today rules Tevinter directly, ever since the Archon Nomeron, uh, Nomeran was elected in 734 Storm, okay, that's the fourth one, Towers, Storm, Blessed Dragon, directly from the ranks of the Enchanters to great applause from the public. He dispensed with the old rules forbidding mages from taking part in politics, and within a century the true rulers within the various Imperial Houses, the mages, took their places openly within the government. The Imperial Divine is now always drawn from the ranks of the first enchanters and operates as divine and grand enchanter both. This is utter heresy to any member of the Chantry outside of Tevinta, a return to the days of the Magisters which brought the blights down upon us. But it exists, and even though we have left the Tevinta Imperium to the mercies of the dread Kunari, still they have endured. Further confrontation between the Black Divine and our so-called White Divine is inevitable. Interesting. Very interesting. So there are two divines, but for the most part, only one is considered legitimate. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? <laughs> you look like you've salvaged more That's a good one. Most who, make it here. who are you? 
I am the revered mother of this chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Uh. <laughs> tithe? To the chantry? You fucking joking. A great number of people could be fed and clothed for a fraction of your finery. But you must do as your heart wills. What can I do for you then? Uh. I'm a Grey Warden. I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. So I've heard, but it is Loghain who betrayed the king. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Uh, can you provide any help to the Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else... Fat fucking lot of good you are. Any blessings? Any blessers? You were contemptuous when I asked for aid. A blessing would hardly be appropriate. Wouldn't you agree? Now, if there is nothing else... Fuck yourself, then. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Fuck yourself and fuck the Chantry. You hear that, everyone here? Fuck the Chantry! Yeah, I said it. I think we're done in here, then. Kills 188. Clap. Clappers. There wasn't any... No, no other available quests. Okay, we spoke to both of you. So, it is bridge crossing time. There's a very I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a <laughs> Shut the one? fuck up, you're just trying to what drive the wedge. What do you want wedge. to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? <laughs> that would be great, thanks. Oh, I love their interactions. What do you wish of me? You got anything new? Not really. Oh, hello. New codex, the chasing. Uh, is it? I swear we've... Have we not read this? I feel like I've read this, but it said new codex, not updated. So I guess we haven't. The chastened wilders have lived have have lived in the Korkari wild since the first wars with the Alamari drove them southward a millennium ago. According to their own lore, they had always been a forest dwelling people that adapted quickly to their new home. Game and fish are plentiful in the wetlands, and the Chasin thrived. For a time, they and the hill-dwelling Avars were true threats to the northern lowlands. The Devinter Imperium had arrived and was hard-pressed to keep back the waves of invasions from the south and the west. The fortress of Ostagar was built specifically to watch for Chasin hordes venturing north of the tree line. It was not until the legendary warrior Hafta soundly defeated the Chasin in the first half of the Divine Age, there's the Fifth Age, blessed storm, dragon, uh... Fuck, I've forgotten the fourth one. No, oh, tower. Blessed storm, dragon, tower, divine. That's five. Do we know how many there are in total? Not sure. Uh, that the question of their ability to contest the lowlands was settled permanently. Today, the chastened are considered largely peaceful, though their ways are still primitive compared to our own. In the Korkari wilds, they live in strange-looking huts built on stilts, or even built into the great treetops. They paint their faces and are split into small tribes ruled by shamans, like uh, like those among the Avars. There are many tales of these shamans having learned of their magic from the Witches of the Wilds, witches that inspire as much terror as they do awe and gratitude, even if there is no definitive proof they exist. In particular, the tale of Flemeth, the greatest witch of the wilds, is celebrated amongst all tribes. While there is no way to know how many there are in the wilds today, Few travellers that pass through the forests tell of Chastened eking out an existence even in the frozen wastelands of the far south. One can assume that should the Chastened ever organise themselves once more, we might have reason to fear them here in Ferelden. We ignore them at our peril. Well, I can't say I remember reading that, so I guess it was new. Please, 
We came here to get away from the fighting. Hello, Alison. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Uh, what do you need them for? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Uh, why don't you just buy some? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. He's poison traps on his land? Oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the maker. So his fields are just full of traps. Hmm, good to know. A bit eccentric. Uh, unfortunately, I have not bought that skill. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Hmm. Does that quest go in my inventory? Uh, no. Hmm. I wonder if I come back later and I have bought the trap making skill, whether I'll be able to get that quest offer, or if that's just like gone forever now. Uh, does Alistair not have a shield? I guess he has a two-hander, right? I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be So, safe. I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious <laughs> instruction? I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denrim in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Man, I love these two. They're so good. They're so good. Wait, where the fuck did they just go? Oh, hello. <laughs> Anything around here? Nada. I suppose we can walk up there, no. Master Federon runs us miners hard. Harder still since Ostagar. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Hmm. <laughs> What's this? A little cat house or something? I spy another side quest. Can we do this one? I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. That Marshman stole from me. I know it. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. Sup, Elder Miriam? You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> What's going on here? Ever since Good King Kalen passed. Refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry has seen to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. I've spoken to him. Too much to do, and not enough time. Need any help? I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Uh, I know a little bit about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. New quest. More than just plants. Uh, Elder Miriam has requested you use your skilled herbs to craft some lesser health poultices for the injured refugees. Three of these should suffice. Refer to her note for specifics. Uh, is, did we get... Is that part of this, or...? No. Refer to her note for specifics, but then she didn't give us any specifics. Oh, hey, we haven't looked at this thing yet. Shapeshifter. Transforms into a giant spider, gaining large bonus to nature resistance as well as the spider's web and poison spit abilities. Spell power determines how powerful the form is. Uh, with Master Shapeshifter, the mage becomes a corrupted spider. 
growing still stronger and gaining the Overwhelm ability. Is that... Yeah, Master Shape Shifter is this thing. Bear Shape. Uh, and Flying Swarm. And then Master is just make those even better. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. Right, I have, like... Yeah, she only wanted three. I have nine, so can't you just take them? Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? Uh, I didn't need them. Here you go. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I know. Fifty silver. Four. She wasn't kidding. Thanks for the poultices. They may save some lives. Fucking old lady bawling out of control over here. Jesus. We're planning on running that mine until the last minute. Felleron's orders. Master Felleron runs us miners hard. What will Harder happen still to us since now that the king is dead? Nothing good. Sorry about that. Best be careful. Darkspawn are coming. Wow, great gossip, you man. Speak to that night yesterday? Dane's Refuge. Well, look oh. what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Oh boy. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen him. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Are we about to fuck these guys up in the middle of a pub? Uh, what makes you think we're traitors? Uh... Let's talk about this before things get out of hand. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I, I am not the, the blind one. The one. saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister. Okay, and well, you just signed your own away. death warrant, mate. Right, let's make this quick. Now let's see which one... Oh, that's... A lot of people. Can we? We can get four. Nice. Go. I to be merciful. <laughs> all right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. Cool. Uh, the Grey Wardens didn't betray King Caelan. Loghain did. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. The turn left the king to die. The Wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing. Take a message to Loghain. W what do you want to tell him? Uh, the Grey Wardens know what really happened. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Uh. Oh, did she? Where does the sister li learn to fight like that? I didn't notice. Was she? Was she fighting them too? Uh, I was happy to save your life, but I mean, it sounds like she kind of saved her own as well. But I'll say, see what she says to this. Save my life. I assure you, I can handle myself. Fair enough. Uh, so I see. Where does a sister learn to fight like that? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Uh, what does that mean? I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest. Not even an initiate. I'm Dalen. A pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. <laughs> you are? Uh... Why so eager to come? The Maker told me to. <laughs> the Maker's on my side. Welcome aboard. Then you believe me. <gasps> I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. 
A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Alright. Oh, shit. Right. We can only have three companions at once. Uh, well, then I'm really sorry, Wuffo. But, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, man. But, like, it's probably... Oh, Rogue! Sick. So we can open chests now. Indeed. But, uh, unfortunately, I think having an extra actual person is going to be, be better than having a doggo. But I do love you still, doggo. Yes, I do. Ah! Okay. What the fuck's this purple shit we've all got on us? Uh, Song of Valor. Alli allies gain bonus to mana regen or stamina regen. Sick. Love that. Right. Uh, well. What will happen to us now that the king is dead? You'll get stuffed. That is probably a good place to leave off for this part, I think. Having uh, explored quite a lot of the town, spoke to a lot of people, and gained ourselves a very fast new party member. That was quick. That was like, walk in the pub, have a fight, I'm on your team. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. When we return, we will pick up whatever other quests are around. We will explore the remaining part of the town and then move on to Pastures New, I guess. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. See you then.